We still do seven NUFC Matters show a week for free. But if you want to help support NUFC Matters, then there are a few ways of doing it. Hit the like button on each live broadcast and video. This helps the channel grow. Hit the subscribe button and select the all notifications bell so you don't miss a single show. If you want to help us financially, then you can join the channel using this button with the membership starting at $1.99 a month. Or you can drop us a donation in the chat using a super sticker. We're also looking for sponsors. If you'd like your brand advertised on the flies for the show and featured during the ad break, then email john at nufcmatters.com to arrange today. <laughs> Welcome along to Rock and Rob's Music Review. Good afternoon, Rob. How are you? Good afternoon, Steve. Excellent. And you? Very good, mate. Very good. Looking forward to hearing what you've got to offer us today. Take us back today, in time. Where are we going? Uh, well, we're going 1975 when I was five. Pink Floyd. I started um, doing research on another Pink Floyd album, but I just couldn't. it wasn't as good as I remembered it. So I put, popped this on. Um, outstanding. Um, What's it called? Here. It... Oh, wish, wish you were here. here. Right, okay. Wish you were here. Pink Floyd. I see the cover. It's actually a man on fire. There was no acting. There was no oversprays. It's actually that was a real and um, real image of what happened. But stuntman done this. It's basically um, getting burned when you shake hands on a deal. Right. So it okay. makes sense now when you look at it. Now it's like ah, I get it now. So this album as well. I've got this. I've got different variations of it. So this one here, I didn't really realise what it what it was about, but I mean, it is, it's about earth, water, air and fire. You've got your four elements uh, around here. So that's what that's about. Album's about um, life, really. It's like an emotional album. It's sad, it's heartfelt, it's, it's a human album. It's very emotional. I, I mean, a lot of it's about true conversations that Pink Floyd had with record industries and record companies at the time. So a lot of the lyrics are based on conversations they had so starting off i had one single on this one which is last week we've done oasis had six singles now this album only had the one single on it it's called have a cigar again like i'm saying on the cover of this album a real actor um iconic iconic album cover so a song do you remember steve the kit kat advert when these bunch of teenagers went into this office and the guy said sit down you can't play you look awful you can't sing you go a long way, and then it was a yes. Kit Kat break. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, and then they jump up and down, says you'll go far. So this one of the songs on this one, sit down, have a cigar, you're going to go far. And I'm wondering if they took that from. It. But anyway, opening the song, um, shine on you, crazy diamond. This is a song about the late Sid Barrett, and I think he passed in 2006. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. He, um, he I think he went insane. There was a time during the recording of this album, a guy he sort of vanished in a, in a way a bit like. I think his name's Richie from Manic Street Preachers. Did just have vanished. Well, we're recording this album in the studio. I think it was Abbey Road. A guy turned up, carrier bag, no hair, no eyebrows, no eyelashes, and just wandered in and then wandered back out again. And it was Sid Barrett. He just wandered in and out again and didn't realise who it was. So um, he went, he was LSD in the 60s. He lost his mind, to be honest. That's what happened with him. It's such a sad story. Um, beautiful lyrics, stunning vocals as well on this background vocals, the backing vocals are sublime on this as well, it's a bit of difficulty of life, it's very emotional and let's see if I can find any of the lyrics to that one the lyrics are, um, remember when you were young, you shone like the sun shine on your crazy diamond, absolutely brilliant, beautiful song, it's, it's stunning, it's, again it's a sad song, it's a bit of loss um, then you go into Welcome to the Machine this is about, again, the record industry. You'll know that yourself, Steve. It's not an easy journey. Um, people tell you what you think you want to hear at the time, such like. So, again, Welcome to the Machine. It makes sense now that I'm older, revisiting some of these albums. Song aimed at the record industry. It's like heavily processed synths and acoustic guitars in this. Really, really good wide variety of cassette effects, tape effects. 
There's a line in this one as well. What did you dream? It's okay. We told you what to dream. Again, it's like them controlling you, record industry controlling you, knowing what you're doing, where you're at, and a mindset that they try and brainwash you with. It's, it's I find it a really, really haunting song. The next one, Have a Cigar. Again, meaning about music industry. This was actually Roy Harper that done lead vocals on this one. And Nick Harper's his son, um, singer-songwriter. So this is... Um, Again, a beautiful song, Roy Harper, sublime guitar and by Dave Gilmore. Lonely keyboards in the background, but it carries it lovely. It's just, it's a beautiful, warm sound, a warm album. Again, and this one, you know, Pink Floyd. There's a line in it, oh, by the way, which one's pink? Again, record company, ignorance, record reps, you know. Song about a real conversation in meetings. Now, I was like that. I always go back to Squeeze. The, the get label differed in Tilbrook. Now, it used to always be the first name as his lead singer. So Difford's I used to think Chris Difford was singing Squeeze. It wasn't. So again, Pink Floyd, or is this, is this the, the name of a couple of guys in the band? What one's Pink? So again, Ignorance <laughs> Record Company. Then you've got Wish You Were Here. Again, a song about Sid Barrett written by Roger Waters again. It's a hard-hitting, very emotional song. A very emotional from the start. It just It's a guitar and it's just the warmth of it. It's just acoustic guitars. Um, reminds me of you know, a bit of feeling of not, I don't see it as loss. I, th- I find it like more nostalgia, the, the, the wonderful feeling of nostalgia, not loss. It's a beautiful tribute to Sid Barrett on this one. The song opens up after the first verse. You've got a piano, you've got your prog drumming fills out the song. It was brilliant. And Nick Mason on drums. Great. I don't really speak about it when I talk about prog bands. I mean, growing up, I, I love Bill Bruford from Yes, Pink Floyd. I mean, I, didn't, I don't pay attention to it, but the, the, the it just carries with the band. And I think a sign of a good drummer is a drummer you're not aware that's there. It's just carrying the band. Not how fast you can go or what tricks you can do. You're carrying a band. You're a good drummer. Yeah, so then you've got Shine On Your Crazy Diamond. Now, this is the last song. It's quite a bit of a shorter review, but these songs are in different parts and different sections. It's a concept album. So Shine On Your Crazy Diamond starts and it ends on this. So there's nine parts to this song. I can't go into it all because you'd be here for a week. There's <laughs> nine parts in total to this song. There's like a and B variations, side A and side B. Beautiful guitar solo again by Dave Gilmore. It's absolutely amazing. Um, it's, to me, his guitar and sounds like the wails of a cry of, or agony. The keyboard effects in this as well is beautiful. I mean, if you like Pink Floyd, you'll know where I'm coming from. You know what angle I'm coming from with this, with the sound, the quality, the production, the feel, the atmosphere about the album. It's such a memorable album it's to end this on. Um, I think it's, it's like art. You know, there's certain bands where it's a great album, but it's a brilliant concept album. And some albums, it's art, you know, and I, I definitely say this is one of them. But again, just sit and listen to it again, listen to the records. And they are, it's just about conversations I had with the record industry at the time. So like I said, I've got three, four variations of this. I was going to do Dark Side of the Moon, but I put it on and I put money on the song Money. And it's like, not as good as I thought. There's some brilliant songs in it. It's just been reissued the 50th anniversary box set. I think it cost about 800 quid. Um, but I had to go for this one. Um, <clears throat> could have done the wall, but again, if you've got a spare month, we'd get through it. But brilliant albums. I actually just watched the wall recently. My best friend Paul, both of us were sitting crying during it. That's so emotional. Again, the journey of life and music and just hits you right in the chest, you know. And I think if you don't cry, the wall, you don't have a heart. There's so much stuff in it, you know, and a lot of it's to do with Roger Waters losing his, his grandfather in World War One and his late father in World War Two. So a lot of Roger Waters' lyrics come about that and this meaning. And again, talking about the Gallagher brothers last week falling out, got David Gilmore and Roger Waters. They got together for Live 8, the second Live Aid one uh, reunion, but it was very frosty. And it's just, again, I just wish stop all this forget just go back to the roots you know without each other they wouldn't have had these albums we wouldn't be discussing this now without the two of them together so it's it's just a i think it's a crying shame it's a sin mark seven out of ten for this one um nine out of ten for this one but again nine. like i say it sounds short it's like five songs i've done but there's there's nine variations of of sections of one song in a concept album but again it's one of those ones if you see it in record shops or you've got it you no know, i had that for a while now you're older Put it back on, get the needle on the record, listen to it again, and take a journey, and it will take you back where you were at this time, where you bought it, and emotions through life that carries you through music. 
Great stuff. Great review as always, Rob. Thanks very much. Look forward to speaking to you next week, mate. Take care. Have a okay. great weekend. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. A big thanks to all our sponsors, Skips and Bins. You can find them at skipsandbins.com or telephone 0800 2545 253. Email inquiries at skipsandbins.com. Website, skipsandbins.com. Easy contract free and pay-as-you-go waste collection. Big thanks to Mr. Vicky's Sources Handmade in Cumbria. You can order them from their website, mrvickies.co.uk or by telephone in 01768 210 102. A big thanks also to New Workwear. Uh, you can find them at newworkwear.com. They are an agile and dedicated workwear provider. Welcome back as well to United Travel. Uh, they are a UK coaches firm and they are based in uh, the Northeast. They've got 2024 tours and you can contact them on 01670 632 460 or mobile 0791 4174 Email info at unitedgrouptravel.com and they've got a website which is unitedgrouptravel.com. There's no strangers on there to us, just people you haven't met yet. Big thanks to them for their sponsorship. Big thanks as well to Media Arts and they supply all the video technology. If you want to become a member and get a cup, a pen, a membership card and a scarf, then get your smartphone and put it over this QR code. It will take you straight to the membership pack. It's a £25 one-off fee. You can also go to NUFC Matters website and search membership pack to book today. If you want to help the channel, then subscribe to it by hitting the subscribe button. Hit the thumb up under the video to like the video and click share to share to your other social media. We're also available as a podcast on iTunes, Spotify, and other podcast providers. Don't forget, we help the food bank on this channel. If you want to do so virtually, go to nufcfansfoodbank.co.uk and make a donation today. The Alan Sheila raffle is back on. 150 tickets, £1 a ticket, win a limited edition signed Alan Shearer Ball. End of the day at nufcmatters.com. Thank you.